What's going on, Five Strive fam? So pumped that Greg Garza is signed. But what does this mean for roster implications for the expansion draft? Coming up. Welcome to the video, guys. Before we get into it, make sure to become a member of the notification squad by hitting the bell next to the subscribe button. So our all-star starting left back from the 2017 season has signed on the dotted line, and we couldn't be more excited. It's possible that his contract with his former team, Liga MX side Tijuana, expired and we made the deal early to make sure that we got him on the books. Greg Garza played exceptionally well throughout the season when he wasn't injured. He's bombing up the left with beautiful combo play with Yamil Assad and Miguel Amiron. And even though Chris McCann deputized at the end of the season really well when Garza was injured, Garza's play is just solid going forward and back but definitely our best spells were with him in the team. There are concerns with his hip, as he's had to have surgery at his young age of 26 already and missing out parts of seasons due to recovery. So what does this mean for roster implications when the LAFC expansion draft is looming? Meaning we only have 11 players we can protect in the December 12th draft. So which players would I protect? Of course, Miguel Amiron, Joseph Martinez, Tito Vijalba, Carlos Carmona, Brad Guzan, LGP, Brandon Vasquez, Julian Gressel, Greg Garza. But this is where it gets much tougher. If we don't sign Jeff Lorenowitz before the draft starts, this is who's on the bubble for me. Alec Can, Michael Parkhurst, Romario Williams. So unfortunately for me, and it might be kind of shocking, our captain, Michael Parkhurst, loses out. Even though he was an all-star and he played incredibly well, with his age, LAFC drafting him would still be a large risk. And between Alec Can and Romario Williams, I feel like even though Alec Can is a Decatur boy, he's a hometown boy, we can find a backup keeper a little easier than a backup striker who might see some considerable minutes this season. Whether it's through spells with our USL team, or when Joseph Martinez, Brandon Vasquez, or other strikers aren't available. What do you guys think? What's your 11 to protect? Leave yours in the comments below. But Garza was excellent throughout the season and he scored two goals, had five assists for us, and Carlos Bocanegra had this to say about him. Greg was an integral part of our first year success and we're happy we're able to bring him back on a permanent basis. He's a natural fit for our style of play, in addition to his on-field performance, which was recognized by his place in the MLS All-Star Game, Greg has become an important figure in the locker room. But are you excited to have Greg Garza on a permanent deal? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new around these parts, smash a like, and we'll see you in the next video.